welcome back to Paramedic Project and thanks for joining us once again today, second episode on sepsis. And I wanted to talk to you specifically about a certain subgroup of patients that we often attend to and that is the elderly patient and talk about how they differ in their presentation of sepsis. So first of all, elderly patients are really important because often sepsis is missed in these people. And second of all, often they do present in sepsis if they've had an ongoing infection. So it's really important that we can identify it in this category of patients. Now, last time we talked about SERS criteria, and I want to talk about three in particular this time. That is heart rate, respiratory rate, and temperature as well. So let's look at them with reference to elderly patients. First of all, heart rate. So if your patient is taking anything that slows their heart rate down, if they're beta blocked, their calcium channel blocked, they will not have the same level of heart rate elevation that you and I could. And we assign a number to an adult patient of greater than 90, a heart rate greater than 90 last episode. With elderly patients, especially those on medications that slow their heart rate, they're just not gonna have a pulse rate or a heart rate of 90, even if they're in the groups of sepsis, just because their heart rate's being slowed down by that medication. So that's the first big thing. Second big thing, you can see where I'm going with this, respiratory. Respiratory rate, if your elderly patient has respiratory history, if they have COPD or emphysema, they're going to have a normally elevated respiratory rate, which is going to make it very, very difficult to figure out if they have an elevated respiratory rate because they've got a bad systemic infection. Third thing I talk about, temperature. You and I might be able to generate high temperatures, but the reality is that most elderly patients just do not have the metabolic drive to produce the fevers that you and I could when we're in the grips of a serious infection. These three things make it really tricky to identify sepsis in elderly patients in the pre-hospital environment. It means you're gonna to have to think a little bit harder for your elderly patients. They are worth it. You're gonna to have to dig a little bit deeper into their medical history and their comorbidities. And that way, we're gonna be able to treat them really well. It's been Paramedic Project. Thanks for joining us. Find us on social media and we'll see you next time.